Hello and welcome to a new series for this channel. So this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Volume 2. So I'm going to be going through all the issues from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Volume 2, the original Mirage run, and I'm going to be going through them in publication order. And by that, I mean I'm going to be going through the main run, but I'm also going to be going through some of the spin-offs and side stories that came out around the same time. Some of these came out uh, before certain issues, so we might get like for example, issue five of the main run, and then we'll do a crossover. And then we'll do issue six and seven of the main run, and then we'll do another spinoff or something like that. I'm basically going to be going by publication order. So I did one for volume one, and now I'm going to do one for volume two. But yeah, like I said, this is going to be the main run as well as the spinoffs. And we are actually going to be starting off with a spinoff. We're going to be starting off with Savage Dragon slash Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And the reason we're starting with that first is because that came out in September of 1993. And the first issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one from volume two came out in October of 1993. So this came out publication wise first. So that's what we're going to do. So this actually takes place after the Savage Dragon issue number two. I am not going to do a, a thing on that. All I will say is that basically... There's some kind of gargoyle going around killing old people. And the Savage Dragon is called on to um, go take care of it. So I think he works out of Chicago, but for now he's coming to Manhattan to fight this gargoyle. And he ends up bumping to the turtles. The turtles mistake him for the gargoyle and they attack him. And then uh, once they realize that they're working on the same team, they try to find the, this gargoyle. They find it, they destroy it, and that's where this issue starts the savage dragon slash teenage mutant ninja turtles i will say i am not a fan of savage dragon i don't i don't care for him as a character was never really interested in his series i know of him mostly i mean I, i've seen him before uh, when i was younger but like i said never i never read any of the issues and of course i know him from the teenage mutant ninja turtles urban legend series that i did which uh is actually volume three that later got retconned but yeah, I, I don't care. I don't care for him. Um, I don't care for him in this issue. Once again, we we kind of have the same issue that we've seen in crossovers, where I mean, at least this one's not that bad. But where we basically see one character or one side propped up over the other, and yeah, that's, that's why I I, I I I pretty much hate almost every crossover I've ever read, just because they're they're, they're always like that. The Batman and the Shadow are one of the worst. Batman in the Shadow, uh, basically, is just constantly putting down the shadow to prop up Batman. That pissed me off. There was also a Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover. That series wasn't that bad, but that series went from Batman and the Turtles to basically Batman and Damien with the Turtles in the background. So I, I hated that move. So I went into this not with any high hopes, especially since the creator for Savage Dragon is the one that's doing the writing for this. So I obviously thought, okay, he's going to kind of prop up his own creation over the Turtles. Um, so yeah, we start off where um, Savage Dragon issue number two ended, where the gargoyle is destroyed and they're standing over it, you know, the wreckage of the, the gargoyle. And the Turtles are kind of like, hey, uh, you know, we, we did a good job. We, we got to find out, though, who's controlling this gargoyle, because I don't think this gargoyle was doing anything on its own. I think it was following the orders of someone else, and we have to figure out who it is. And Savage Dragon's like, nah, that's not my my job. Like, I, I already did what I, I was called to do. I came to take out the dra uh, the gargoyle, and I did it. Everything else is on your own. So he jumps off a building, and he goes uh, into a taxi cab, and he's going to head off to the airport. And that's when we see this woman. Her name is Virago. And she looks a lot like, um, oh, I can't remember her name. She looks like the girl in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Urban Legends, aka Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Volume 3. The one that was like started off trying to assassinate the turtles, but then uh, later ends up joining their side. I forgot her name, but she looks like that. Well, the outfit does, not not the hair or anything like that, but the outfit looks like it. The whole like red straps and all that stuff. But um, Virago is the one that was using her magic to summon the gargoyles. Why? I don't know. I don't think this is, is ever explained here. Maybe it's explained in the Savage Dragon run, but I don't care about reading Savage Dragon, so I guess I will never know. Um, but yeah, she basically is pissed off that the turtles uh, and Savage Dragon kind of destroyed her gargoyle, so she uses her magic to summon an earthquake, and all of a sudden this giant creature shows up 
and um, attacks the taxi cab that Savage Dragon is in. So Savage Dragon is like, well, I guess I'm not going to the airport now. So the turtles and Savage Dragon start fighting this giant creature, and um, they're able to blow it up. They, they kill it. The cops show up, and the turtles disappear right before the, the cops arrive, because at this point in time, no one knows about the turtles. And so Savage Dragon gets taken to the precinct where he meets the chief of this police and he basically tells the chief hey like um the officer from chicago i was sent over here to work on the gargoyle case uh what's going on and um yeah we cut to the turtles who are cruising down through the sewers and they see virago up in the distance and they they chase after her and she leads them up above ground and uh when they get up above ground she uses her magic to bring to life these uh, lion statues so the, the lion statues come to life start attacking the turtles and then that's when um savage dragon at the the precinct he uh gets an apb about uh hey there's uh we have a disturbance on 42nd and 5th we got reports of giant turtles and a statue of a lion fighting on the steps of the public library so savage dragon's like all right i'll, I'll take care of this one and we cut back to the turtles where they're fighting this um stone lion and they're able to to break it, and that's when Virago uses her magic to summon the other lion. So there's two lion statues. Turtles break one of them. Now she brings to life this other one, and she she brushes away. She's gonna uh, leave the turtles behind. When all of a sudden, Savage Dragon shows up and he one punches this lion. And I was like, okay, uh, I, <laughs> we're we're ready. Uh, it took four turtles to, to take out one lion, but it takes Savage Dragon just one punch to take it out. Not only does he take out the lion, but his punch is so devastating that it also knocks out Virago, even though she wasn't hit at all. I'm just like, ah, oh, okay, whatever. But all of a sudden, uh, some of the magic that's still around is able to summon uh, Atlas, the Atlas statue. So the Atlas statue comes to life. He chugs the, um, the globe stone at the turtles and savage dragon and uh savage dragon goes and again one punches atlas and, and destroys it like he, he literally just beats it in one hit i was like okay whatever <laughs> so then virago wakes up starts running they start chasing after her and then she stops and she she threatens them she's like uh if you keep persisting and chasing me i'm gonna use my, my, my full wrath of magical powers. I've only used a little bit, but now I'm going to use everything. And Savage Dragon stares at her, and he's like, I had enough of this crap. Don't even think about it. And he, like, stares at her. And then she, like, gulps, and she uh, gives up and gets arrested. And I'm once again, I'm just like, God damn, like, are the turtles even necessary? The turtles didn't do anything. Oh, they, they defeated one lion well it took all four of them to take out one line it took savage dragon one punch to take out one line and then savage dragon is so badass that he doesn't even need to lay his hands on virago he just needs to stare at her and she gives up but her being chased by the turtles and stuff no no problem whatsoever i'm just like oh all right whatever so uh yeah the the cops show up they uh arrest virago throw her in the back of a police van and then um they thank savage dragon he's like oh you don't have to think just me i also got some help from some of the locals and then we see the turtles watching this whole thing in the distance and that's how the issue ends and uh yeah um i'm glad that this was just a like one shot because i really don't care for savage dragon at all i just i don't care for his character i don't really find him all that interesting i i don't like the fact that maybe it's just me maybe it's just i'm such a gung-ho fan of the turtles that when I when I see them, you know, get a little overshadowed, maybe it just ruffles my feathers. But yeah, th this issue just kind of bugged the crap out of me. It was just not bugged the crap out of me. It, it bugged me a bit. It wasn't as bad as the Turtles Batman. It wasn't as bad as the uh, Shadow Batman. But still, you, you, it's basically like, why are the Turtles here? Like they, Savage Dragon didn't even need the, their help. Like he was able to do everything on his own. The Turtles were just kind of there. So. I didn't care for that, <laughs> but yeah, thankfully, um, I think according to the website that I'm using, there's going to be only one more Savage Dragon one-shot 
and that doesn't happen until almost near the end of the main run so hopefully we don't have to see him again so yeah there you go starting off this series with um a not so great chapter <laughs> thankfully it was just a crossover one shot and not part of the main run whatsoever and because this main run only has 13 issues I'm hoping to God that there's no like guest era stuff. Like not even one. Just just have this the full 13 issues just be nothing but actual canon stories. I'm assuming that's what it is because I haven't heard anything about guest era when it comes to volume two. But anyone who's seen volume one, you guys will know how crazy get the guest era stuff made me. It it ruined volume one for me. If you take out all the guest era non-canon stuff and you just stick to the canon run, Volume 1 is freaking amazing. It's fantastic. It's one of the best things I've ever read. But because you had all this non-canon guest era crap thrown in there, it really dragged the whole series down for me. So hopefully we're not getting that. And I have heard some good things about Volume 2, though. I have heard Volume 4 is like the best maybe we'll, we'll see we already went through volume three with the urban legends we already went through volume one which i again i said was really really good minus all the guest era and on canon stuff and uh now we're gonna do volume two and i guess depending on how this goes maybe we'll continue with volume four we'll see yeah i, ho I hope you guys like 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 this series i hope you guys are are interested in the you know the me going through all the original Turtles comics. At the time of this recording, uh, Volume 1 is still ongoing. I'm still uploading those. In fact, I, I think I've, I'm, all, I'm still in the beginning of uploading um, Volume Number 1. So by the time this comes out, it's probably going to be like a lot, lot later in the year, most likely. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, 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 think, I think it's interesting. I think it's it, it's been fun. Like I had a lot of fun doing Volume 1. Um, I don't know. Again, I, I don't know how how popular that's going to end up being, or if anyone's going to enjoy that. Because, like I said, at the time of this recording, I've only uploaded a few of the volume one run. But doing the the, the recordings for these ha has been a lot of fun because uh, this is actually my first time going through volume number two. So when I did volume one, that was the very first time I've did uh, I've ever read volume one. This is the first time I'm ever going to be reading volume two, and I'm going to be doing the same thing where. I'm going to read an issue and then immediately do a review for it. So I, I literally just finished reading Savage Dragon slash Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And as soon as I finished the last page, I popped up OBS and started recording. Um, so you, you get my, my, my straight just off the issue thoughts on everything. And yeah, this is basically going to, this is a, a blind, this is a blind review of the series is that the way i would explain it where i have no idea what's going to happen in volume two i've never read anything from volume two everything's going to be brand new to me every issue that i read is going to be brand new to me i have no idea where this is going to go so you're going to be seeing my real-time thoughts and feelings and stuff when it comes to all of these issues so fingers crossed that this is a good run i guess we're going to find out but anyways, I, I feel like I've done enough talking. There you go. There's the first issue for this series. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope to see you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Later. So what did you guys think of that video? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell for a notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far. And I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.